Hi, I'm Tali Frankel and I'm a speech and language therapist. Today we're going to be talking about auditory analysis. Analysis is a critical phonological awareness skill that is one of the foundations for literacy development. So children need the ability to appreciate the fact that words can be broken up into individual components. Initially, they learn to appreciate that words can be broken up into syllables, like table is two syllables, table, and then eventually they learn that words like cat can be broken up into individual discrete sounds like k, a, t. The ability to break words up into their parts, as well as keep them in the correct sequence, facilitates both reading and spelling. If you're concerned that your child is not able to syllabify words or seems not to be coping with the literacy program at school, here are some games that you can play at home to help to facilitate analysis. Start off by clapping out syllables. Always start with compound words like cowboy, cupcake, so that means words that are made up of two individual words put together and show them how you can break those words up into parts. Once your child can clap out or tap or drum compound words, move on to two syllable words that are not compound words like garden, table, pencil. Once they can do that, build up to three syllable words like butternut, elephant, computer and then even into four syllable words like macaroni or watermelon. Once your child is able to syllabify words, it's now time to start teaching them to manipulate those individual components. So for example, go back again to compound words. You can do things like using little magnet counters, you can even use little jumping frogs, any kind of token. Sometimes if you want to really reward them for sitting and playing with you, you could use things like chocolate chips or OTs so that they can eat their game while they play start off by having two little magnets or tokens and ask them to show you the different parts of cowboy and then they can point to the first token as the first syllable and then the second token as the second syllable. Once they can identify, once they can syllabify the word, ask them to tell you which one is cow. If they can correctly identify the first syllable, ask them what would be left if you took the first part away. Once they can do that, do the same thing by asking them to identify the second syllable and asking them to take that away. So cowboy without cow is boy and cowboy without boy is cow. Now move on to your three syllable words. Butternut without nut is butter and computer without com is pewter. Once your child is fairly confident with manipulating syllables, you can move on to individual sounds. Here you can ask them to listen for a specific sound. So you may say something like, I want you to listen for the sound b. Tell me if you can hear a b at the beginning of this word and then give them a whole bunch of different words. Some of them will begin with a b, some of them won't. It's often a good idea to start with sounds that have a visual clue, like a b, where they can actually see your lips moving. If your child can identify the beginning sound, now you can encourage them to also produce words with that sound. So give me another word that starts with a b. And once your children can do that, it's time to start sounding out words into their individual component parts. Start with three sound words that have a consonant, a short sound, and then another consonant like bat, or leg, or rod, or bus. And if they can do that, you can start taking away the beginning sound. So, b at, take away the b makes, at. If they can do that, see if they can take away ending sounds like rake, r -ake, take away the k makes re, and once they can do that, you can start substituting the beginning sound. So bat without the b, but with a p makes pat. And bake without the k, but with a s makes base. If you remain concerned that your child is struggling with pre-literacy skills, please don't hesitate and contact a professional.